Hi, this is Champlet 2 on the PlayStation Network. This is one of a series of videos on my channel to provide some tips and tricks for stealing the cars in the import-export business in GTA Online. When you go to the computer in your executive office and click on Vehicle Cargo and request a vehicle from SecuroServe, you'll be required to complete different tasks to retrieve the car. There are specific videos on my channel for each of these retrieval tasks. When you exit your office, your assistant will call you with details. So, this car is being used in a stunt on a movie set. Head over there and take the car. But look out, you probably won't be able to get out unless you complete the stunt yourselves. I believe there are only three locations for this stunt. One is in Richmond, which is where I'm about to go now. It's a stunt jump location. The other is in Lago Zancudo. It's that marshy little beach area close to Fort Zancudo. And the other is at the Vinewood sign where the stunt is to jump through, I think it's either the O or the D in the Vinewood sign. When you get here, there'll be a few guards and a camera crew and the car and a big ring of fire that the car has to jump through. Now you could come up here and just shoot all the guards and take the car. But if you do, you will have a, either police or enemies chasing you all the way back to your warehouse. Make sure when you're coming in, if you're flying, don't fly over the stunt because that will alert the guards. And if you're driving, don't drive too close to it either because that will alert the guards. Now what I'm doing here, you can see the little blue radar where all the guards are looking. I'm trying to avoid that altogether, so I'm walking around this house and going to come in from the other side so they can't see me. There's just nowhere else to get past the scene without the cops seeing me. So I'm going to sneak up here and get a look at what's going on. And there's the car I'm coming for. Now, there's a guard that just walked up and he has, his blue radar is right around that car. He can see everything around the car. If I went down there, he would see me. But now he turned around and he's walking away and this is clear. So when I jump in, I hit the left joystick and that activates the boost and off I go. And I think it's pretty funny how the assistant says, hey, they might be able to use that shot for the movie. So that's it. Just make sure you stop really quickly so you don't damage the car. And now it's visible to the other players in the session. So if there's strangers in there, they may try to come and knock you off the road and, uh, you know, shoot you or something to take your car because they can turn it in for money. But just drive it back to your warehouse. Keep it as safe as you can and nobody else is going to bother you in terms of uh, enemies in the game or police. That's it. Just drive it back safe. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out the other tips and tricks videos for imports and exports on my channel. A like for this video and a subscription to my channel are so greatly appreciated. Thanks a bunch.